Hey guys, Kei Rusev here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Hiho Yokai Emblem and Kaseki Mel Set 04 from Yokai Watch. This is our newest emblem and mail set, this time focusing on the Hiho Yokai Narcissus II. So, let's get started. To start, we'll look at the included Narcissus II Kaseki Mel. So, as usual, the Kaseki Mel is done up in a pearlescent white plastic, and the art is designed as if it was a piece of hieroglyphics. For comparison, here is the regular Hiho Yokai Mel. And Narcissus the Second is an interesting yokai, because while he's stylized like a pharaoh from Egypt, he's more clearly based on the Greek myth of Narcissus, the man who fell in love with his own reflection, and where we get the concept of narcissism from. That's even reflected in his metal, where the image of him is actually him reflected in a hand mirror. We have his Kyokyo on the back, which is one half of the Mugen Stone for Yokai Watch 3. And then we'll bring in the Yokai Watch Green and Yokai Pod to test this out. So it should come as no surprise that the Kaseki Mel reads the same way as it does, or rather the same way as all the other Kaseki Mel's do in the Yokai Watch Dream. And then we'll test it out with the Yokai Pod search mode. Next, we'll look at the Narcissus II Hiho Yokai Emblem. So, this is done in a clear dark blue plastic, same as the Hiho Yokai metal that matches it. You see, it's got some very nice ornate patterns to it. And in fitting with the theme of narcissism, this is based on a hand mirror. And also, like the previous Hiho Yokai Emblem for El Doragon, this also has a moving parts gimmick that if you unlatch this, you can take these pieces and fold them out to the side, which reveals a little reflective sticker. So, those will have the QR code on the back, which is what gets you the other half of the Mugen Stone for Narcissus is the second dungeon. Then we can bring in the Kaseki Metal, and test it out with the Yokai Pod. And there we get our abbreviated summoning for the Yokai, plus the Otaka charge. Then we'll bring in the proper Hiho Yokai medal for the proper summoning. Additionally, if we bring in the 
the Magnum gear. We can connect it there. And use it for a special attack. Then we'll disconnect from here. Then switch. And while we still have one charge on there, we'll switch over to charge mode. And we'll put it onto the metal. And finally, if we use a separate Tiho Yokai medal for this, like the Zapadokia medal, we can use it with the emblem and try to get some Hagure Yoki charges. So, let's test that out. So the first one we get is the Bukimi charge, since he's the since this is for the Bukimi tribe yokai, or Bukimi Hiho yokai rather. Then we'll do it again. Let's try that again. So that time we had, or rather that time we got, the Meditai charge. So then we'll mix them together so it frees up a space. And we'll try this one more time. And so for a third try, we got the Yama Yamabiko charge. And there we go. So overall, this is another cool emblem and metal set that focuses on a yokai who is a unique twist on an old Greek myth. It's also cool that they're carrying over the idea of these movable parts from the previous emblem, and looks like the future emblem is going to have them as well, so it's definitely something to look forward to. Additionally, this unlocks new sounds for your yokai pod, as well as a new yoki charge. So if you have a yokai pod, then it's definitely recommended. 
Next time, I'll be reviewing the Proto Gashat set tomorrow at 6 p.m. PST. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.